Time for a truly spooky treat, Jack's Pumpkin Tart. Tarts need tart pans. I'm gonna use these cute little mini ones. Line them with foil. Then spray them with no stick spray. Then add a little bit of flour and lightly dust them. Knock out the excess. Set these aside. Now for a pumpkin sponge. Whisk together flour, baking powder, baking soda, pumpkin pie spice, and a pinch of salt. To the side. Now crack an egg in a big bowl and get to whisking. Add a little bit of sugar and whisk until it's a little fluffy, about three minutes. Then you can add your canned pumpkin. I love this stuff. Add a little bit of vanilla and then you can stir in your flour. You can fold it in if you want. Uh, you don't have to though. You can just, just make sure you don't overmix it. Spoon the batter into your tart pans and smooth it out. Put them on a baking sheet, just in case, and then bake them off. Let them cool completely, and then slide them out of the pan. Done! Now for the mousse. In a small pot goes milk and a little bit of gelatin. Let it sit for 5 minutes, then cook over very low heat, just until the gelatin dissolves. Take it off the heat. In a large bowl, whip the heck out of some cream cheese, just to get it soft. Then add a little bit more pumpkin. Whisk until totally smooth. Then, whisk in your gelatin mixture. Add vanilla and pumpkin pie spice. Okay, uh, here's how it gets weird. You're gonna wanna fold in half a tub of whipped topping. I forgot to film this part because I'm a dummy, uh, but don't you go forgetting to, okay? Add some orange gel color too. At this point you can taste it, and if you want you can add more sugar. Me, I don't like my mousses super sweet. Alright, spoon the mousse into pumpkin molds. There's a link in the description to the one I used if you want to get it. If not, just use small bowls, it'll be pretty close. Put the whole thing on a baking sheet, and then tap out the air. Then, place this in the fridge to set up for about 2-5 to five hours. In the meantime, let's uh, let's roll out our fondant. I hate fondant, but it's the easiest way to make the face on this dude. So use your Play-Doh skills and cut out, you know, eyes and a nose and a janky looking smile like mine. Um, but don't worry, the cool thing about fondant is you don't have to eat it. You can kind of pick it off, and I think I'm definitely going to do that when I eat this. Alright, when your mousse is ready, it's going to set up pretty soft. Um... So it's going to be kind of hard to get out of the mold. So before you do that, uh, put it in the freezer for about an hour. Then boom, slides out like butter. Let's finish him. Place one of your sponges on a small plate. Top with one of your pumpkin mousses. Then using the other half of the whip topping tub, uh, start dotting on the edges. This whole decoration part doesn't have to be perfect. Doll up the top. And add a sprig of mint for color. Let's put a smile on that face. Remember, you don't have to eat it. And what the hell, how about a little hat? Look how cute he is. Almost too cute to eat. But as we all know, that doesn't really exist on my channel. Get a spoon, avoid the fondant, and eat him up. Yummy! Enjoy the video? Give me a follow, won't ya? Remember, links and full recipes are in the video description. By the way, there's a whole massive video where I cook great Halloween treats from Zelda, Metroid, and even Castlevania. Check them out!
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. See you next time. Bye!